So have you been shopping for decor lately and you're a little bit shocked how much everything cost? Decor, things for your table. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to paint your own fabric, make your own placemats and napkin rings and a centerpiece that I got a Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm over 70 and I just say it because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I want to thank my wonderful, sweet subscribers for all your support and encouragement. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these pre-fall, fall, Halloween, and Christmas videos. It's the best part of my channel, I'm telling you. <laughs> and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. So I have a couple things to say before I start on this video. Number one is when I did my makeup video, I forgot to mention I do add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, number one. Number two, I have a new wig on. One of my friends who ordered this wig and it wasn't right for her sent it to me as a gift. And I want to thank you so much, Debbie. That is just the sweetest thing ever. And you can see, I just love it. Thanks so much. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I made my zebra skins. Like if you're doing any type of a party and you need a big tablecloth, do you know how hard it is to find the right size? I'm going to show you how to take fabric, paint it, and you can make it any size you want to and overlap the skins, whatever. I'm also going to show you how to make mats, place mats, and napkin rings out of cardboard. I mean, it's, it's pennies and use little scraps you have to embellish them. You guys, you're gonna love this and my seahorse centerpiece for $1.25. Well, I did also buy some things to put on, which was $1.25, so under $3. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep you. I can't wait to show you. So I hope you love these things I'm gonna show you. I hope you will get inspired and make some of these things for your home. Remember, they just cost pennies. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. All right, this might look like an animal skin, but it's not. This is what I painted. And I did this when I did a fair table called Out of Africa. Now this is just one of the panels that I made. Okay, you start off with some very heavy beige canvas fabric, and you're gonna be using burnt umber, which is a dark chocolate, my favorite brown, black, uh, any kind of a tan, this is desert sand, and a warm white. And you'll be mixing a lot with water and combining some of these with white, etc., to get the thing. But anyway, so when I started researching the shapes of the pattern on a zebra, it usually comes down to a V. Now the V I'm going to show you on my final product, I did wide Vs. These are a little bit more put together, but I'll show you in just a minute. So you just do these organic V shapes. You can see here, here, here with pencil. And then I fill in the areas with these like little blobby things. Okay, you can see here part of a V. This is just one side of a V. And after I do those, then I come back with black marker and I outline them. I just want to make sure it looks balanced. It shouldn't look perfect because it's an animal skin. And then from there, I take my black paint and now I come in and I paint all of these V's. All right, I painted all my V's. Now I'm gonna come in, again, a lot of water, and this is kind of messy, you might wanna do it outside, but a lot of water and mi mixing some of these down a little bit because you want some light browns and you're gonna like really rough it up and shade it with the water and the brown just to give it a lot of shadowing. Um, and that type of thing, you want the skins to look old. I think that makes it look more real. Now, you can see the wider Vs I did on this one, and then I did smaller Vs on the side, just so you know. Okay, I think that looked really good. I forgot to mention that, that I did do the wider Vs on this. But what you do with this, now you take um, your shading or your distressing with your brown that's watered down, really get in there, 
and you're gonna shadow with the brown, you can see here, and you're gonna highlight with some of the watered down white paint. You can see that's what gives it like a three-dimensional look on most, most of the skin. Sometimes I do a little bit of black paint come in here or brown paint just to give some dots and kind of looks like, you know, it's been shaded. And then if you wanna do this into a tablecloth, now you cut your edges and leave them raw to a animal skin shape. And there you have it. You have this for a tablecloth, a runner, uh, cushions outside. If you're gonna sit on them or put them outside or use as a pillow, I would definitely seal this so none of the paint ever comes off, although it really doesn't. But anyway, just to be safe. So let's take a look at some more budget ideas for your tabletop. Now I wanna talk about napkin rings. I know I talked about these last month, but I wanna show you some different, more kind of ethnic designs. Okay, so paper towel roll, wired edged ribbon. Now you can use burlap, you can use an animal print, you can use anything you have. Literally, if you have a piece of ribbon that may be four to five inches long and you're gonna throw it away, make a napkin ring out of it. So you start with this. Now you can glue on here anything you want. And let's take a look here. Now, this one I just absolutely love. If you like simple but yet a touch of this animal print, this is three strips of ribbon, and I just glued it on the back there. So I have the little, um, this print here, and then the giraffe print in the middle. And then you see the burlap through it, which looks really cute. I mean, that does not look like you just glued things on. This next one here I love. This is kind of plain, but it gives so much texture to this. It is shredded Dollar Tree rope. Just tied in a knot, glued on. I mean, talk about pennies. Absolutely so inexpensive. Now, if you have a print cloth and you wanna add something really different, look at this luggage tag that I have and, and very kind of global, well-traveled look. I just glued this little tag, this three, part tag onto the napkin ring. And this one here, I actually covered the burlap with a uh, printed burlap. I had some that had like French words on it. Did raffia tied this way and then just stuck in a bow with these Dollar Tree beads that you just put on the piece of raffia and put a knot on the end. Look how adorable that looks. You could do them in any color. There's so many things you could do with these. And just one that's kind of a gonna be good for fall. This is more of a country one, but again, I had literally little tiny scraps that I just glued one on top of the other at different angles, added some berries and acorns, and you can see how adorable that is. Now, I also wanna show you the centerpiece because you know I have this seahorse. You saw it in my displays. I got it for $13 on sale at Home Goods. But remember this one? This is the um, wood seahorse that I got at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I told you I was gonna to try to kind of replicate the texture and the look. Well, what I did is I took this Dollar Tree kind of ribbon. Now this will look, work great for Halloween too because it looks like a spider web. And I just took little pieces and glued it on. You can see all the texture and then painted it about three shades of brown and did some jingle blocks on the back to make it stand up. Now if you can't find that at um, Dollar Tree, uh, Hobby Lobby has this one which you could use also. But I just want to show you some of these flat pieces of wood you can make stand up and make them fabulous centerpieces. All right, let's take a look at some mats now. All right, let's take a look at some place mats. One of the best ways to really make your table setting stand out is with mats. I've told you this so many times. If you have these dishes just sitting on a table, it's not much, but you put it on a mat and it brings texture and color it's just so, so great. Now, let me show you my favorite ones. Now, these I bought, I think, at World Market. So if you want to invest in a really textured mat, 
and you don't want to make them, I definitely recommend buying these. And sometimes I think I've also seen them at Dollar General or that type of thing. Now, since we're talking about fantasy vacations and travel and global and safari and tropical, these kind of mats just work so well because it adds so much texture. So the woven mat has a lot. This one is like rope that's that's done around and then tied on these little fringes all around. Now this is from Hobby Lobby and this mat was $9.99. Of course, I got it like 75% off, but you know, they're kind of expensive. So I want to show you some options. Now I've showed you this before. I did some rope. This is one of those little bicycle wheel things from Dollar Tree and I tied on all of this rope, shredded rope from Dollar Tree took it apart. And then this one here also gets good texture. That's pleated burlap ribbon that I just showed you in the last scene when I talked about the um, napkin rings. So I want to show you one other thing you can do. Now this is made from the ribbon and cardboard. This one, the problem with that is it's too big. I could actually layer that, a mat, and then the dishes on top. And that looks pretty cool too, but it takes up too much room. So I wanted to show you another option. Now I got this wired twine from Dollar Tree and I'm just tying on shredded cut pieces of the Dollar Tree rope. And you can see that I'm just gonna glue them around this way. And when I get done with this, you're gonna see how cute this looks. See, you're gonna have all this little fringe without the expense, but you get to have all that texture. Use these scraps and these things that you have to make these wonderful placemats, napkin rings, and your own custom tablecloths. I hope you love this. I hope you got inspired, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye!